Ooh. Are you ready to do this? I'm like, oh. like what? Love that journey for Love us. Hey y'all, it's me. Is that me? Hello. So we're going to be, oh shoot, this is boiling. Before I get into it, let me put the pasta in. By the way, we're having fettuccine Alfredo. Some simple truth organic fettuccine. It was $1.50 at Ralph's. Uh, and shabang. Oh God. She is living her best life. She is sweating out all of the toxic energy in her life. She's living her best truth. We love a fettuccine moment. Oh wow. Let's get you closer. Come see the straininess. Wow. Cheese, the four cheese Alfredo, fun. Okay, put all that in. Ooh, look at that, you guys can see, fun. <gasps> Holy shoot, you guys, these literally could go in for one more minute. Open her up, oh, she is done now. Ooh, we still have pretzels, but to be honest, to be fair, that was Alyssa's idea because she's got her period. So she is craving the pretzels and the chocolate and I'm craving Alfredo just like literally every day of my life. <sighs> I'm just gonna like add the rest of the sauce and I'll show you when I put the cheese in. Hey, it's Lindsay Ray and welcome back to my channel. Or if you're new, welcome, hi, hello. Let me burp again. Okay, uh, I'm sorry. Today Alyssa is back. We have a super cheesy, super amazing Alfredo with pasta, fettuccine Alfredo. And as per Alyssa's request, because she's got some period cravings going on, we got some pretzels, soft baked, soft baked pretzels, soft. Yes, essentially in the embodiment of uh, Jess from New Girl, I just wanted soft pretzels to heal my uh, woman parts. Yes, because you know your girl got cramps. She got <laughs> cramps. That's hot. So we have two different dips for the pretzels. We have a Nutella and oh. also a nacho cheese dip. So I'm very excited. This is like my first homemade mukbang. This is also mm. our second mukbang ever because we did the Taco Bell one and now we're doing this one. I'm really excited. Lately, I have been super into like true crime stories. Ooh. Alyssa has always been into BuzzFeed Unsolved. So today, we are doing our very own spooky scary mukbang. We just thought it would be very on brand because of like the bloodiness in me. Yes. The bloodiness in these stories. Exactly. Too much information, we'll cut that out maybe. <laughs> okay, so I have a question for you. Yes. What would you do if you woke up in a house and okay. there was literally no way out? Like I'm not kidding. Like you like get a, any? Like is it like a str like a strange house? No. Yeah, or well, is it like a house I'm familiar with? No, it's a strange house. You wake up from your bed. You look around the room. You have no idea how you got there, or where you are. You go to open the door, and it's just a brick wall. I'm shook. You run down another hall. You open another door, and it's like ten stories drop, and there's no way out of this house. Well, that sounds like the Winchester mystery house to me. <gasps> oh snap! You got it. <laughs> We're gonna be talking about today, we're gonna be talking about our favorite scariest places on earth while we eat this amazing feast. So grab a snack because this is what we're doing today. I'm super excited. Do 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 do. So conspiracy <laughs> copyright. <laughs> Auto to it, so it's like do 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 do. We might not be factually correct on all these places, but we know the folklore. So, so before we get into this video. Let's freaking try the food! Yes, yes, okay. Do I wanna go soft pretzel first because that's what my body inherently craves? And that's what you ripped while the camera was turned off? Calling me out, bitch. Try, <laughs> try, try, try. Bish, bish, bish. A little bish. I'll go, she's a little bish. I'll go savory. <gasps> mm. Mm, 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 that mm. looks so good. This is like movie theater, like nacho cheese, so I'm gonna stir it. Like yeah, because it got a little like layer on cheese. top. Get it again to get it all nice and fresh and drippy. Mm. Wait, should I do it too and cheers you? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I feel like a real mood bug. Your Stephanie's so <laughs> quaking. And I'm, oh. <gasps> Did it get on you? No. <gasps> Even if it's Drama. Good. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. <gasps> wow. It's kind of like a little bit cooler now, but it's still really good. Mm -hmm. Still really good. Mm -hmm. um, jalapeno. Yeah. Or is it chilies? No, you can really taste the jalapeno mm -hmm. underneath. I don't like jalapeno, but I like this. <gasps> Maybe this is the jalapeno you learned to love. Ooh. Mm -hmm. I Should I put this back in the microwave? It's fine. Oh. Okay. They can't see it. It's fine. The spirit took it. The spirit. The spirits that we're going to be talking about today. You guys. We're going to be talking about one of the creepiest real life 
like this has actually happened. It's called the Winchester Mystery House. Mm -hmm. And it's a real place that exists. It's mm -hmm. a giant mansion mm -hmm. that has tons and tons of doors that don't lead to anything. Walls that don't go anywhere. Like hallways. Like it's just, it's honestly so crazy. Let's try the pot stuff. We don't want to get too into the story. Too before. into the story before we get to really eat. I can't even no, get it. No, it's so congealed. It's so congealed. But I, it's put, like... I put two whole bottles <laughs> of pasta. Now I know to only do one for future pa for fu future pasta moments. Uh, mm, oh, man. Yeah, it's really good. It's congealed, but like in the perfect, like, like, wow. book a de buffo way. <gasps> I'm not oh Italian. God. Oh my god, yum. <gasps> Sorry. Mm. Mm. If you do the underlayers, oh my god, there's so much cheese. Yeah, I added, <laughs> like, I added like half of a bag of Italian cheese and half of a bag of mozzarella. So What's it's... Italian cheese? I don't really know. It's just, <laughs> That's your little thing. <laughs> it's marked Italian cheese via the Ralph's packaging. Got it, got it. Mm. I mean, I get what Italian cheese is, but like... That's very like loose branding. Like Italy wasn't really a country since like 1940-something, <laughs> right? Love like, a good fact. Wow. Mmm. Mm. Mm. Oh. Want another pretzel? Yeah, the pretzel's so good. Well done, mm. Trader Joe's. Trader Joe's killed. Look, well done, you and your period cravings. Whoop. Mmm. Oh my god. Mm. I'm like so ready. Do I want to try the Nutella or wait mm -hmm. for something sweet? Did you already do Nutella? I didn't do Nutella yet. <gasps> Mm. Okay, so Nutella, a crowd pleaser for many, mm. but will it? Have soothe? you ever had Nutella with a soft pretzel? I don't. I don't know. I haven't either. Let's do it. Are you ready? Mm. I feel like I have food all over my face. You don't. Oh, my ice maker is dropping. Hello. Ice. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. <laughs> yeah. It's the oh. perfect combo of like sweet with savory because like Nutella's like sweet but not like aggressively sweet mm. you know oh so should we talk about the first spooky property mm-hmm Winchester Mystery House pick it back up sister sincerely like it's kind of like a wild folklore like there's a lot of um what's a folklore folklore is kind of like a what oral history was for like the Greeks and the Romans where it's like there's a lot of word-of-mouth storytelling about this place but not a lot of factual um, evidence to back up the story Winchester Mystery House its origins date back even further than the foundation of the house itself in California so from what I understand with folklore <laughs> don't die on me then you'll have to haunt me and then I'll have a whole video alone about how you're haunting me. I'm sorry. It's awful. Oh my god, wow. And I'm like, I'm spooked. You're spooked. Okay, so as So you're what saying. happened was is Sarah Winchester was the owner and the person who eventually started constructing the Winchester Mystery House in San Jose, California. However, her origin story started back on the East Coast. Where? Her family was in, I believe, New Haven, Connecticut. Mm. I don't know if forever, but for a, us. Yeah, a significant amount of time. Mm -hmm. um, it, it said that she lived on the East Coast for a long time and she was the prominent heiress to a rifle fortune. And mm -hmm. this rifle weaponry company um, actually created a lot of the weapons for the Civil War. Um, and so when her husband died of tuberculosis and Ooh. then later it said her daughter died of a mysterious illness, she turned to a medium who told her, again, this might not be factual, but who had told her that her legacy had been cursed because the we the Winchester weapons that had been formed um, at, like for her family were the primary weapons used in the Civil War and killed so many civilians that her family name was like cursed and plagued by the ghosts of the Civil War. Whoa. And that that's why they took the souls of her husband and her child. I think it might have been a daughter. Um, so I, she, I remember reading that. Yeah, daughter. I think it was a daughter. And so after hearing, I think it was like this medium saying they like talked to the other side and that her like she was cursed. She fled to California. But the big like spooky story is that um, in order to uh, appease the spirits who cursed her family that she would build this house with multiple rooms and stairwells and all of this to give them a place to haunt and dwell and like 
be satisfied rather than killing anyone else who may come into contact with her. So it's said that the spirits followed her from the East Coast and then channeled their home at the Winchester Mystery House. The home itself was a farmhouse mm -hmm. and she bought this large uh, like acreage of land um, and that she just kept building and building and building. Now, some historians have disputed uh, the ghost theory, how uh, saying that she might have just been an avid architecture fan and been a novice. And they suggested that um, she just kept like messing up, and that's why they kept building. Mm -hmm. However, like the spooky version that I love, and spooky scary. What is it? Werewolf bar mitzvah. <laughs> Scary. But yeah, so like a lot of um, people have said that they have witnessed uh, like uh, paranormal activity on the property. People can go there for like tours and stuff. Oh, absolutely. You can go, you can tour it. They host weddings. Like, they say that like all these like Civil War ghosts just followed her. And then also that maybe some people died while building the property. Oh, I almost dropped that in oh the my Nutella. God. Oh my God, there's a, there's a cheesy, there's a secret cheesy there. <laughs> Oh my god, I did not know this accidentally happened. Whoa. Uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hmm. But yeah, what do you know about the Winchester Mystery House? Um, I basically know the same thing. Mm-hmm. That she was cursed because all of her weapons killed a bunch of people. Mm-hmm. And that... Oh. Is my makeup... <gasps> is my makeup... Mmm, <gasps> yum. Hold on. I drop. Don't dip it in there. It's like pizza. Ugh. Oh my god. Mm. It actually tastes so, it's so good. So good. <laughs> Have you ever had pizza with like M and M's or something like in um, the Princess Diaries? <laughs> oh my god, I'm so full. Holy crap. How does? How do people? Eat? Well, I, I ate way more than you did. Look at this dent. I was too busy telling ghost stories. And then it was like. The curse was when you stop building rooms, you will die. Yeah, I heard that too. Where like another medium of an or the same medium, I can't remember, um, told her that you need to keep building like almost like a portal for the like ghosts and spirits to travel through. And like the, mm -hmm. there's a lot of like uh, folklore about like ghosts traveling like through doors and windows and different things and like haunted homes, and that there are actually secretly like portals to the other side. And that's where the medium suggested her to keep building this house with like right. multiple doors, multiple stairwells, multiple windows. And that's why there's these doors to like uh, places that drop like 10 feet below and 25 feet below. It's wild. Mm -hmm. Hello? I'm not overcome by ghosts. I'm overcome by fullness. Oh, gosh. <laughs> I'm full too, but that's what this is about. Are we? Okay, whenever I watch these people do these videos, they go on and on they just keep and on. Eating. I feel like I ate a decent chunk of pasta. I, I could cry. I've eaten so much. It might be my emotions and my hormones because I'm bleeding. But I just put the rest of the pasta I had left, which was maybe like a f an eighth, a fourth mm -hmm. of. Maybe fourth of what I made, and it filled the the biggest container that I owned. Yeah, I believe it. There's it's so a lot of food, stuff. and we haven't even put it all away yet. Oh God. Ugh. I mean, I I should stop picking. I'll probably continue to pick, but you guys, I'm sorry if we're not your expert mukbangers, but this or your expert ghost hunters. Maybe one day, one I would love that. Maybe we could be ghost hunters. We can be like. Oh, you know what? No way. I would never do that. I'd be so afraid. I would. Nope. Never. I throw a witchcraft party she every year. She does. She throws a, a witchcraft party for her birthday. <laughs> so we're going to keep eating, but I feel like pretty much that's that's it for today's today's video. I hope yeah. you enjoyed it. This is so new for me. I know Alyssa did most of the storytelling. <laughs> I will try to be more educated next time, but let us know in the comments below if you want us to do this again with more stories. And if you have any stories in particular that you would love to see. Let us know. Also, I'm wearing contacts for pretty much like the maybe third time since I've gotten contacts, which was in December. So like if I'm looking a little like I don't know where I'm looking at, it's just because I'm still not used to contacts. And if we get a thousand likes, we'll go to the Winchester Mystery House. <laughs> Give us a thousand likes. <laughs> um, but seriously, I really, I know Alyssa loves haunted stuff. I love true crime. I love haunted stuff. Um, not IRL, but reading about it, talking hmm. about it. Um, but yeah, so like, let us know if you want to see this again. I would be so happy to do another meal, which if you want this to happen, comment down below, 
what story you want us to tell and what food you want us to eat. And on that note, it has been so great. I have enjoyed this so much. Sorry that we did not eat everything. We will get better at this. Um, but I love you guys, and this is so fun. Uh. Oh! Ooh. Goodbye. You can find me at again, it's Alyssa on Instagram or no, Miss Liss. It's again, oh, it's again, it's, I thought it was again, it's Alyssa Ray. Continue. You can find Alyssa at again, it's Alyssa on Instagram or Miss Liss 112 on Twitter. And I will link them both below. And on that note, we love you. We'll see you next time. Beep, beep. Bye bye. Beep. Skirt, skirt. It is. I'm so full, it hurts.